Thank you very much for coming. My name is Darren from HEJ.tax. I'm a tax advisor, and this is? My name is Michael Guy. I'm a U.S. immigration lawyer, and uh, we're based primarily in California. We have an office here in Dubai as well. I'm back and forth every month, and uh, so we handle all U.S. immigration. And then our team would help with pre-immigration tax planning, and then once you actually make the move, compliance to actually doing the tax returns. Uh, in the U.S. and any other jurisdictions to which you may be exposed. But what should they do if they haven't been task compliant? Well, there's some options available for those U.S. taxpayers who are outside of the U.S., for example, in the Gulf area, and they have not been 100% tax compliant. If it is that your non-compliance is deemed to have been unwillful, so you it was not an intentional act to avoid a known legal duty, then the, the most popular option is a streamlined compliance procedure. Basically, the statute of limitations is three years, so you back file returns for the three years for which your due date has already passed. And if you have shares in a free zone company or whatever, all the informational returns are done simultaneously, as well as the foreign bank account report, because as a U.S. taxpayer, you're also required to disclose all the bank accounts that you have outside of the U.S., all accounts in the Gulf. It may not be, there's no correlation between taxes or loads. So you're not going to be taxed on it. But as I mentioned earlier, the U.S. government is really big on knowing what you're doing, especially post 9-11. There's this implicit assumption, if you have not been reporting these foreign accounts, that you're up to something nefarious. You, caution is highly advised. Make sure if there's any doubt, because the different types of accounts, some of them are just for transferring money and stuff like that. It's just in the side of caution and report everything. Anyway, the statute of limitations for that is six years. So you go back six years and you report that as well. And that's typically enough to bring the average person into compliance. If you believe that your non-compliance has been willful, as evidenced by certain structures, such as numbered accounts in certain jurisdictions, to again, to avoid that known legal responsibility, then we probably first speak with an attorney, uh, a tax attorney, because uh, the approach is going to be different. The streamlined procedure I've mentioned before may not be available. And we look at something called offshore voluntary disclosure. But the, regardless of what your situation is, there is a pathway towards compliance. Don't worry.